Okay, hello, welcome. This is Paltas, Error Instruments. Good evening. I want you to show uh, the tropical noise, this white model here. The tropical noise has uh, the name tropical noise because you can patch with tropical compartments the capacitors. And this is, i show you over here, they look really tropical if you see the colors like this one. They all have different sounds because they have different values. In the early days, you can look at the colors, look at your book, and then you know the value of this thing. All values sounds different. Anyways, there are two patch base for capacitors, and it comes with capacitors also like around 20, from small one and vintage one, and everything di different. Then we have here a divide session. And in the middle, it's off. And if you go somewhere up or down, it's on. <coughs> Sorry. Um, there's also a four potential meter that you can uh, tune with control voltage over here. And if you're looking up here, we see four things, four jacks. Um, this is the audio output. This one go to the mixer. This is control voltage output. It's a little bit more higher in sound than the audio because it's analog. It's almost similar, but there's some capacitor between. There is uh, an output for uh, the drum sound and there is a trigger input for drum sound. So this model has a, a low pass gate built in so you can drum with it. And because you have the patch bay, you can make a lot of external noise with this capacitor, who sounds pretty interesting. Okay, let's listen. Now I put some trigger in there. Like that. Let's see. And if I do everything okay. Okay, here we go. You all already see difference, this small capacitor here, I put in there and then it's much more round. Now I play a little bit with the potential meters and with the dividers. some nice noise what I'm now 
gonna do, I'm gonna put some control voltage from an LFO in the model. Quite weird. If you're having these small capacitors, always make sure uh, if you do two, it's possible. I will show the patch bay a little bit more close. Yes, you can see there are there are uh, two rows, so one leg must be here and one leg must be there. There are some pictures also online. Uh, if you mix them to the other side, it's not good. It can be dangerous. So you <coughs> you can mix only in one one patch bay in one time Because of uh, the way with the capacitors, you can make really weird drum sounds, like sweeping drum sounds that you hear now, that you hear officially like two sounds or more, and it has a weird end or beginning. Now we're gonna do it a little bit faster. some other capacitor this one sounds more FM and more noisy I like metallic So this blue one sounds really metallic. What's funny about uh, the patch bay of the capacitors, you can also put other things in there, like an LED, for example, or like an LDR. An LED we know, of course, as a light, like this. And there are a lot of differences in LEDs. Um, but there are also LEDs who are blinking. Then the chip is in there and it's a kind of cartridge that sequence. So it's a rhythm in there that you see in Christmas lights or anything. It comes also in the back. So I will turn a LED in the patch bay and then it will go patch by themselves somehow. Uh, now it's still in drum mode with the Lopez gate, so I will turn it in the normal oscillator mode. That's the output further. Let's see what it does. 
it's always a surprise for me too. Do you Really weird, now I hear also more sounds in one. This sweep sound of going out and some melody. I will uh, take these capacitors also out, see what's happening. And I will put also an LED in there. <laughs> You see the different rhythms of the LEDs. This one is pulsed much easier and this one goes fast. And you hear this back in the sound. Now I will put some control voltage on the knobs. I'm gonna use the Lopez gate again, so it's gonna be a drum model, and then we see what's happening.
sounds really, really hard. Like there's no reverb or something. There's a lot of metal, metal air in the in the in the noise. model you can play along trigger in This is about tropical noise, so it comes with a bag of these small things. It's a model you can make uh, use as oscillator, experimental, but you can use it also as a drum because there is a built-in Lopez gate. It has 12 dividers that you can mix, so it's 3-3, three, three, but it's like 6-6, six, six. so 2 times 6 is 12. And then you have the patch bay, you can uh, play this with a lot uh, of the compartments. This is the trigger input, this is the drum out, control voltage output, so you can also modulate other stuff for weird CV. And this is the audio output, yes. Every knob is controllable by, uh, uh, by CV, uh, so it's a kind of complex model. We make the tropical noise before, it was more easy. Um, a lot of people ask for it, so we think about to make this one a little bit more exciting and there's a lot of work in there what's important to know uh, don't patch this side to this side so if you have for example a really big capacitor like this that you put one leg in this one and one leg in this one like that then uh, it maybe go wrong but that's also not the end of the world because it's pure analog so it's uh, a matter of chasing chips and that's not so difficult 
Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, I want to thank all the people who worked with this thing. My colleague Avia, uh, yes, he uh, really did a lot of development also in this together with me uh, and about the design. Okay, thank you for watching and have a very good weekend. Bye bye.